Earlier this summer, the team at Sony introduced the ZV E10, their newest creator centric mirrorless camera, and we went hands on recently to find out who would find the most value from a product like this. Welcome to another Henry's First Look. Good morning everyone, Gadgin here, and to put it politely, there was a lot of noise and confusion when this camera was announced. On one hand, you have an E-mount camera from Sony with a flip screen, proven autofocus technology, and an attractive $900 price point. However, the inclusion of a dated sensor really had some people up in arms about the potential of this camera. The truth is, as with most things in life, is that the reality lies somewhere in the middle. The 24 megapixel crop sensor in this camera produces great images, but the poor rolling shutter can lead to fast moving subjects looking wavy in your videos. This might be a deal breaker for some, but it's important to keep in mind that this sensor is better than most creators. When you couple this with an autofocus system that tracks you and your subject so well it seems like witchcraft, you forget some of the small inconveniences of this sensor. There is no viewfinder on this camera. You have an acceptable three inch LCD on the back that can flip all the way around, making it much easier to use this camera for live streaming, conference calls, or vlogging. You can shoot 4K video at 30p or 120 frames per second in full HD slow motion. There's also an improved microphone on this camera that makes for better audio capture in the field. But the ZV-E E10 also has a digital hot shoe, which can be used with Sony's fantastic shotgun microphones. A mic and headphone jack can be found on the side of the camera, but it can be a little annoying at times to manage the cables here and the flip screen at the same time. The ZV E10 also houses a micro HDMI and USB C port for added expansion. And while not using the newer Sony Z batteries, you still get well over 400 shots per charge on this camera. I will say though, if you plan on doing a lot of video, you want to get another battery or two. Like the name of this camera, the drawbacks are as much of an issue as you make it. Sure, if you're on the high end and getting paid for your creative work, you might hit the ceiling early and often. However, the robust collection of features, lens options, and aggressive price point make this an incredibly attractive option for a large suite of creators. Whether or not this is the right camera for you ultimately depends on what you're going to be capturing and how often you're going to be creating. In my brief time with the Sony ZV E10, I really enjoyed how easy it was to get up and running. With a single battery, single SD card slot, a flip out screen, you can be off to the races creating content and the reliable autofocus ensures that you have shots that you can use later on. Now the grip isn't the most comfortable you'll find on a mirrorless camera, but there's plenty of space there to manage this and hold on to it. I will say though, Sony's Bluetooth grip that allows you to record, pause, and add stability to the ZV E10 is almost a no brainer if you're looking to grab this camera. All in all, the Sony ZV E10 is a robust camera that gives you a lot of powerful features and a few drawbacks that might pose an issue to some creators. I still believe, like I alluded to earlier, that this camera is gonna outperform most of the people that are using it. With all that said though, I'd love to hear what you think, so let us know in the comments below. And if you're not already, be sure to subscribe to the channel so you know when a new video comes out. As always, my name is Gadgen. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.